It's in my office one day. Phone rings. I don't normally pick up the phone because I think it's a demonized instrument. <laughs> so, but Carol's gone home early for the day, so it's just me there. So as I pick up the phone, this cloud, this obnoxious smelling cloud comes into my office. It's like I can see the cloud and it's, it's a horrible smell. Pick up the phone and there's a Satanist on the other end. I'm thinking, flipping cheek. I said, hey man, there's a, there's a cloud in my office, really evil smelling cloud. I said, is this you? He went, we have an assignment against you. So I said, okay, let's hear it then. So he starts cursing me. So I'm listening. I said, hang on a minute, I'm writing this down. <laughs> Write it down. So I read it back to him. So this is what you're saying, right? <laughs> he said, yeah. I said, cool, thanks man, appreciate that. Yeah. So you need to know that, one, I'm not scared of you. Two, you haven't phoned me because you've got an assignment against me. You've actually called, phoned me because I have an assignment for people in the occult. The third thing you need to know is that every curse you put upon my life, God will turn into a blessing. So I said, some great curses here, man. I really appreciate that. <laughs> because <clears throat> blessing in my life is just like going to go off the chart, eh? <laughs> but listen, I have a word from the Lord for you. I'm coming to get you. <laughs> Slams the phone down. <laughs> so this cloud disappears so I just stand up and start walking around my office and say Father I thank you so Lord what are the opposite things here so I start to write down it's like I'm writing down a prophetic word because the Lord says okay everything that's in the opposite spirit is yours in this next season so I'm, I'm making notes so I'm making notes I'm making note of all of that and I pick up this piece of paper and I burn it yeah and I bind the curse and everything and I burn it and now I've got this great prophetic word, courtesy of a Satanist. <laughs> so every day I write a crafted prayer around that and my, my blessing in my life just starts to increase. A few months later, this, in the office again, phone rings, pick it up, and it's this guy. And he says to me, uh, you may not remember who I am, he said, uh, I was the Satanist who cursed you, you know, about four or five months ago. I said, yeah, hey man, I've prayed about you loads of times. I said, you wouldn't believe the blessing of God on my life. I am so grateful to you. That was like one of the turning point phone calls in my life. Brilliant. Just messing with him, you know. And he starts laughing. And, uh, and I said, hang on a minute. You said I was the Satanist. What's that about? He said, well, I hated that phone call. He said, I'm so used to Christians just being afraid and you know, and seeing their lives fall apart. He said, but I've never got on the end of the phone with a guy who couldn't care less what I was saying. <laughs> and who had an intention to turn everything around. He said, and I hated the phone call. I hated the last thing you said to me. I'm coming to get you. He said, because you destroyed all my power base. Because I came up against someone who I knew could turn what I said into the opposite. And I knew that nothing had worked. And so I began, I, I, I began seeing that God was bigger. And I, I'd always been, I've been Satanist for years, I'd always been in that place of we had the power and everything else, you know. And, uh, and he said from that point on, he said I, I couldn't enjoy the rituals that we did, I couldn't enjoy the meetings. Um, it, it's like, you know, I was starting to freak out and I was starting to look around and I was starting to see how weird these people were. <laughs> And then I looked at myself in the mirror and saw how weird I was. He said, I, we were in our, our coven in a meeting out in the country, in the woods. We had a bonfire. We just slit the, the neck of a cockerel. We're doing a blood ritual. And Jesus just came and stood in the fire. And none of us could move. It's like, it's like my feet were rooted to the floor. Could not move. He said, and he just stood and looked at us, each of us for the longest time. Then he just stepped out of the flame and he came up and he touched every one of us. He said, when he touched me, every demon in me fled. He said, and now and we were all filled with the Spirit. I said, hang on a minute. How many people in your coven? He said, 24. I'm thinking, cool. I get the blessed one, I set free 24. That was a good odds, eh?
The thing about this is, 